Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here and welcome to EVE Online and welcome to my 320 million ISK investment. So I just bought a Gila. Um, honestly, with the changes to uh, some of these ships, uh, this is looking pretty damn interesting. Um, and I want to see if this is finally the ship that could end up replacing an Ishtar for Kaldari players. Uh, it's got an amazing bonus for medium uh, drones we'll see more on that maybe like at the end of the site and uh, yeah let's let's hope uh, that i can make it uh, for my fit uh, so i have uh, two uh, medium drones of all types just so i can test that stuff out a little bit i went with heavy missile launchers and the dps is already 550 dps for drones 232 dps for missiles and uh, my skills are actually pretty bad uh, for this stuff oh that also reminds me i'm going to have to clear all of this out uh, here so what i'll try out first is uh, the valkyries just to see uh, if this can help uh, taking the minimatars ones uh, hopefully this has like better speed and uh, yeah we'll see how these valkyries do against these frigates so that's hit of 451 uh, that's not so bad uh, let's maybe put these guys on individual uh, frigates just to try and get stuff a little bit more quickly but uh, yeah these are hits uh, around three to four hundred uh, on, on a frigate so let's see if this works out uh, we'll see if my missiles can hit this watchman over there yeah that's actually a one shot so that's pretty good and these heavy missiles can still do some damage there so I can actually let my Valkyries do what they need to do and uh, fire my missiles at some of the other targets is it oh my god it was not one shot this one so yeah maybe something like a target painter or something uh, is going to be better for uh, using the missiles or ungrouping them maybe that could help too this this is not a bad hit but it is still taking a good amount of time uh, to clear all of this stuff out two shots on those let's go like that like this and then like this all right so just one more you're gone and now i should be gone here as well okay so that was well what the hell <laughs> kill him thank you so that was a first room with the valkyries out and I actually want to go on the right side here which uh, well I don't know uh, needing two shots I'm still a little bit surprised by that so in the next room what we'll do is we will test out the drone damage of the hammerheads uh, which should be uh, I think a little bit higher than what we just saw with the Valkyries I was I wanted to try them just to see if the speed could make a difference not that bad you know all of these frigates were gone by the time uh, let's uh, go for this one or be that like something like that get these guys out and yeah let's uh, yeah let's try the hammerheads um, on the gila and just send them out on these frigates maybe I'd send them out on in individual frigates just to see what that does for uh, for damage potential and there we go that's at least that looks like it's uh, a one shot so that was a little bit better something that i prefer to so yeah this does look like uh, like we, we got one shotting uh hammerheads now so let's hope that they can uh, get rid of this pretty quickly uh the heavy missiles you know they still two shot these frigates so that's not so bad i would say let's go for the next one then and just yeah let my guys do their thing there we go that's a hit and these guys basically are, are being one shotted by the by the drones it's just it's a little bit harder to tell uh, where they're at at the moment who they're firing at uh, but if they all start to come closer they should be faster and faster they do seem to be on the same targets let's do some uh, some missile damage on the cruiser too that should be pretty decent what kind of a it was that 629 i don't think that's that's that bad unfortunately <laughs> my drones do uh, choose the same target so that one is gone now and 
uh, we'll just orbit the wreck. Engage this. You go over there. You go over there. And we are five minutes in. Close to the wreck. Um, they are being one shotted, so this is not that bad. Unfortunately, the travel time compared that to what the Ishtar does with um, with sentry drones, and that is a disadvantage. Uh, they'll have a lot of hit points, on the other hand, so that should be pretty good. Let's see if this patroller. Boom! Yeah, that that's a one shot. So obviously, I think you will want the hammerheads on. Uh, on the frigates that's gone as well and just oh there was the texture popping not sure if you saw that but something I've, I've had since the chronos built is that the textures tend to pop in and out from time to time look really annoying and target that one okay a couple missiles on that you engage that one and then uh, this should be done pretty quickly there we go he's down second volley goes out he's down and come on this guy should be close enough no full misses look at that my hammerheads actually fully missing that frigate so yeah maybe a tracking link something like that could help as well this is all me just exploring uh, the possibilities here so don't uh, don't expect awesome gameplay or awesome results right away uh, my fit is far from optimal but uh, I do think this is going to end up being a very viable alternative for high-sec exploration for Kaldari players uh, compared to uh, the Ishtar that I usually fly. So here we go, we can actually stop this. And uh, I really should also put up the hardener, not that it's been needed so far, but that is that. And uh, yeah, take the gates. All right, one million here, one million there. A logic circuit and an interface circuit. Not bad, not bad. Very cool effect with the wing um, going underneath the ship when you're in warp. And we'll stay close by so you can see the effect afterwards. Come on. And there we go. Full deployment of the missile launchers. Uh, I kind of like this. It's pretty cool in my opinion. Uh, let's uh, break the hammerheads out and let's uh, fire some missile start to slow boat towards the cruiser and I really do wish that it was a little bit less click intensive to, uh, to launch my hammerheads on the freaks like that and you really want to go like that that's all right, that's all right. Oh, and here is a Demos in here as well. So that means that we do have to be a little bit careful about how we're gonna handle the site. Cruiser is next. Activate Afterburner at 33, I think. And, yep, launch the missiles on the cruiser. Here we go, we got a Demos. Uh, it's another Galente ship that's uh, probably very nice for uh, for high ski exploration as well. So they're doing all of that. Good. My missiles go out there. Grab the refinery headmaster, please. 651 uh, on the missile hit. Look at that, one of my hammerheads. Getting some real damage. So that's gone. Let's uh, approach, quickly recall them actually do want to maybe salvage first here, leave a couple of them out um, so that I can take the gate together with the Demos and then just try to grab the loot. So here we go, start salvaging. Bounce off that structure. I want to loot. Yeah, just as I want to loot. God, bloody damn it. And well, okay, uh, already a faction piece here as well. We are close enough to the acceleration gate, so you can 
deactivate and oh, let's take out the face pass then for the rest. Most of these sh guys should be close enough. So engage. Face pass out. And these look to be one shotted as well. Uh, what else is left? That one. Yeah, alright, missile on these guys, I return my fist pass, and then uh, we should be able to take the gate pretty much right away. <laughs> Everyone is waiting for each other. Here we go, final room, competition against the Demos, Gila versus Demos, uh, to try and, and grab the, the loot at the end. So here we go, uh, we'll do a quick reload, I think it's going to take at least a little bit of time to, uh, to get on top of, uh, of the station. Which is of course the aim. Maybe these two I'll put you guys into medium. Go. And we are reloaded. We are in range. Medium drones go out as well. And now what you actually want to do uh, when you don't have like the tractor unit out to uh, try and grab the loot. And whoa, look at <laughs> his micro warp drive right in there. And uh, yeah, Jesus, he's got a lot of DPS. Uh, I gotta be honest here. That's a decent amount of DPS. My hits though, look at that. 1800 and 650 um, on, on, on this structure. Not bad, I would say. So yeah, let's see who gets uh, the final hit. Maybe I'm lucky, maybe I'm not. Nope, I'm not lucky. The cargo container is his. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's... Uh, pretty interesting you know I think uh, the Gila it's got a lot of potential I still need to skill up uh, let's uh, give him a GG in local well done and uh, let's head off to one of the planets the rest of the site really doesn't matter at least I got one uh, small faction piece out of this not bad at all and this was uh, yeah a first look at the Gila uh, as an exploration ship with the new changes <laughs> first luck today so out we go and uh, then I'll, I'll quickly show you guys the fit and the bonuses because well, it has changed quite substantially not just in the outlook uh, but uh, but also in uh, in how the gila works I think so I can actually already go right into the into the fitting window and then if I press show info um, so Roll bonus, 500% bonus to medium combat drone damage and hit points. 10% um, bonus to kinetic and thermal missile damage, not bad either. 4% bonus to all shield resistances for Kaldari Cruiser. So you can really have a brick tank with good DPS uh, from missiles and drones uh, for a cruiser hull. Uh, let's go to the attributes then. You've got room 100 cubic meters for drones. Of course your capacity is only at 20. Make a bits per second so you can only field two medium drones at the same time um, the advantage here honestly that I can see I have two of every type of medium combat drone this means that I could play on the resistances if this becomes the dominant factor depending on on where I'm at uh, you did see though that there was a substantial difference between uh, the um, the, let's see the hammerheads one-shotting the frigates and the Valkyries uh, needing two shots on the frigates. So that is going to I mean a lot more time on the Valkyries than that. Uh, if you go uh, look at my fit, I did go for I wanted to try and reach uh, Ishtar level uh, DPS uh, here in this Gila. So I did go with two drone amplifier twos and then with hammerheads you already have 550 DPS uh, from your uh, medium drones not bad at all for just two drones out then i went for ballistic control system 2 um, and medium war with Cal uh, warhead calefaction catalyst 1 uh, together with uh, four heavy missile launcher 2s and inferno fury mis missiles for another 232 dps keep in mind my missile skills uh, are not where they should be uh, but together is already 780 dps potential uh, on uh, on the Gila more than enough uh, to break something like the battleship in a Serpentis fire outpost. It's really close to the A29 I have at the moment with my greedy uh, Ishtar. And then I went for some tank as much as I could. So a uh, medium core defense shield Persia 1 and medium core defense field extender 1 in the rigs just because I, I could not put a, a second DPS rig in there. 
uh, I had to put two of these shield rigs uh, and then over here I have an EM warp uh, amplifier just for the EM resistance which is uh, the bigger hole adaptive invulnerability fields uh, I went for a medium shield booster for the rep and then I've got an afterburner and a cap recharger and then also a damage control so that's for a little bit of tank um, this is far from optimal I need to work around how I, sh I should uh, maybe improve the tank a little bit uh, with needing less CPU or something like that so that I can also add a data analyzer then you really have an equivalent to the Ishtar uh, but for Kaldari uh, pilots in the Gila I think it's got the potential uh, I think you can definitely find a fit maybe with something like um, uh, fast uh, missile launchers but smaller ones so that you are, you're a little bit less uh, dependent on the CPU for the rest of your stuff which one was I looking at let me see here turrets the missile launchers the rapid light heavy missile launchers honestly this can maybe uh, work out as well um, but uh, yeah there you go guys this was a look at the Gila for an exploration ship for the Kaldari guys that would be equivalent to the Ishtar I think it's got the potential for that thank you very much for watching I'll see you all next time